Disclaimer. The subject matter has been produced using AI technology and can in no way be employed as fact. The AI works on articles and blogs, so it may only be deemed as what others believe, not necessarily the editor of this video. This video is in no way intended as fact or intended to cause undue stress, only for entertainment value. The disclaimer is produced by Tony of Tony's Music. Thank you. The history of Italy, as with many other countries, is full of dramatic and often tragic events. It is also a rich and colorful history, and one which has seen many great events take place throughout its long history. In the first centuries of Italy's existence, it was ruled by a series of powerful emperors, who were in charge of a number of different regions. The most famous of these emperors was Augustus Caesar, who was the first emperor of Rome and who reigned from 27 BC to 14 AD. Augustus was born in 63 BC and was the son of Julius Caesar, the famous Roman general and statesman. He grew up in the palace and was educated by his mother Livia. He became emperor at the age of 27. After the death of his father. During his reign he built the city of Rome into a major empire. And conquered large parts of the Mediterranean. During the course of his reign, Augustus built a number of impressive monuments in Rome. Including the Colosseum, the Arch of Constantine, and the Pantheon. He also established a system of taxation which allowed him to control the money supply in the empire. This made it easier for him to keep the peace and to pay for his wars. The second emperor of Rome was Tiberius, who reigned from 14 AD to 37 AD. Tiberius was the grandson of Augustus, and he was a man of great intelligence and ambition. However, he had a troubled relationship with the Senate, and often disagreed with his advisors. He also had a reputation for cruelty, and was responsible for the execution of some of his relatives. Tiberius' reign saw the end of the Roman Republic, and the beginning of the Roman Empire. His reign was marked by a series of military defeats, and he was forced to withdraw from Germany and Britain. His reign was also marked by an outbreak of civil war, which ended with the assassination of his successor. Caligula Caligula was a cruel and unstable ruler, who was eventually assassinated by his own guards. This was followed by the reign of Claudius, who was a popular emperor, but whose reign was marred by a number of political and economic problems. He was also responsible for the construction of the Circus Maximus and the building of the Temple of Mars Altar. Claudius died in 54 AD and was succeeded by Nero, who was the last emperor of Rome. Nero was born in AD 37 and was the son of Claudius. He was a brilliant orator and was extremely popular with the people. However, he was also extremely corrupt and was responsible for a number of political and social reforms. He also tried to rebuild Rome after the fire of 64 AD, but this proved to be too ambitious. And his reign was marked by a number of disasters. Nero was eventually assassinated by his wife Poppy. And was succeeded by Galba, who was the last emperor to be crowned in Rome. Galba was a popular emperor, but his reign was marked by a series of military disasters. He was also responsible for building the Theatre of Pompey and the Temple of Venus and Roma. After the fall of the Roman Empire, Italy became part of the Byzantine Empire, which was ruled by the Eastern Roman Empire. This was a period of relative stability, and the Byzantine Empire continued to expand. 
However, it was invaded by the Lombards in 568 AD and the Franks in 751 AD. These invasions resulted in the collapse of the Eastern Roman Empire and the establishment of a series of small independent kingdoms. These kingdoms included the Kingdom of the Franks, the Kingdom of the Lombards, and the Kingdom of the Ostrogoths. Italy was also invaded by the Visigoths, who arrived in Italy in 401 AD, and began to settle in the north of the country. They were eventually defeated by the Franks in 476 AD, and they were replaced by the Vandals, who arrived in Italy in 439 AD. However, the Vandals were soon defeated by the Byzantines, and they were eventually driven out of Italy by the Ostrogoths. The Vandals eventually settled in North Africa, and the Ostrogoths settled in Greece. Italy was then ruled by a series of small independent kingdoms, and this situation continued until the time of the Renaissance. The End Thank you.